So I've just put a little bit of the tissue paper down, you can see. And what I want to do now is I can put more PVA. This PVA I've mixed with water, it's about 50-50 actually. Now this wallpaper paste, wallpaper lining paper is much thicker and it's possible to just put it in like that and you know dip it in and then put it across like that which is one way of doing it another way of doing it which i'll just show you in a moment is actually wetting the paper and then letting it dry out a bit Dipping it in is fine as well. And just overlap them, as you would if you were going to do a papier-mâché object of any kind. I'm just trying to show you as I go along, really. So that's really quite wet, and that paper will, will go in. And then you can put tissue paper on top, which, as you see, will just soak it up. I'm quite lucky here, because I've got underfloor heating so I can put things on the floor overnight rather than in an airing cupboard or on a radiator or on an arger which I no longer have and they'll just dry out beautifully and they contract. So this is it you can see that there's air trapped. It doesn't really matter for making this because what I'm aiming to make is um, as I showed you before is a board well I call it a board it's quite thick it's nice and thick if you make it thicker of course you can paint on top of it and then what I do is I cut out a circle and I cut it to the middle as a radius and then you can do that and create a conical shape like that and then we will stick something, this is just a plastic container underneath. The whole thing will get stuck down with tape, covered with baker foil and cling film. And, um, and then it will be a mould to work on top of ad infinitum to make all sorts of shapes. And just briefly, to put you in line with where we might be going, this is one I did earlier, you see? And the nice thing is it has a hole there, which means that I've taken, it's had about seven or eight layers on and I've taken it off the original mould. And what I'll do is I'll put paper over here, let it dry, fill the inside with stone, I think, to make it heavy, and then put paper across the base. And then it'll, even though it's got a really nice, rather elegant um, foot, it will sit perfectly. And then I'll decide what to do with the rest. I've already got lots of ideas, but what I'd like to do is make quite a few of these. And so we've got lots of examples of different ways we can go with design. So I shall carry on early stages doing this. A nice thing to do. I listen to the blackbird singing, but some, you know, I also listen to Audible. So I'm in the middle of a new edition of the complete works of Jane Austen, and I'm really enjoying it. I can listen to Jane Austen again and again and again. Depends on the mood, so whatever. And if it's sunny you can do it outside, as long as it's not windy. So, bon voyage and I'll see you in a little bit.